Hey, it's Dawn here. Welcome to this little nugget. If you'd like the full video, go to the Intero Talk playlist on my main page. Enjoy. Citations. Okay. Um, and I don't think I talked to anyone else, but I was just working for an hour or so from the house. I was going to take a shower, but I did it. I ran out of time. Did the laundry. Nobody asked you about the shower. Did you go to the liquor store and stuff for the party? Yeah. Okay, you went down. Which road you said? I went down Trescott. Okay. I saw a police car there, and I just thought it was blocked, so I just turned around and drove um, drove to, uh, I went down the rest of Centerville, went up Benton, took Benton across, went to ABC Liquors, She's bought the bourbon. I'm a little confused. You're up on, up on Centerville Road. What's your purpose yes. of driving down Trescott? It's usually the shortcut to get oh. to Monroe. To get to Monroe. I usually take it as a cut through to get to Thomas Hill or Monroe. Okay, right, so, Monroe. so notice when she's hyperventilating and when she's not. Very calm right now as she's explaining all of these things with her hands. And this is why I took Trescott and da da da, because the detective is probably already wondering what was she doing there. I was thinking Mosaic Monroe, it's up Thomasville. Okay, so when you come down into town on Centerville? I almost always cut through Trescott. Trescott and just drive by your old house? Well, I, I do it as a way of like coming to terms with the divorce, but yeah, I, sometimes I drive there, if I'm too sad, I drive around. Okay. If the kids aren't home, I know they're not home, I feel better about driving by the house, but yeah, it's shorter and I just usually drive by. It's shorter than going all the way down to Benton? All the way down Centerville around Benton, just right. a shortcut I always took. Okay, so you Yeah, so just what I'm noticing here is what she's like when she's just explaining details in a story regardless of whether it's truthful or not. She's calm. She's expressive. She's not staring into his eyes. She's not doing the head bobble like a baby. Very different um, body language. That's all I'm saying is it's different um, from from uh, what we're going to come to see later. You turned around and went back to Centerville, I take it, yeah. down to Benton. I went to the liquor store down there on Thomasville, yeah. the one at Benton Road. ABC Liquors, it's a, yeah, Benton. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, did you make a purchase there? Yeah. And that was sometime after 12? Probably 12, 30. Okay, all right. And I talked to a guy there because I don't really buy much alcohol, and so they wanted bourbon, and I asked the guy, we had a whole conversation about bourbon, and right. my eyes, like, um, your eyes? He just said, your eyes are really blue. Your and eyes? Your contacts? I do. Okay, again, nobody asked her about her eyes, but she thinks that's important right now. Okay. Um, but I just remembered it. Right. Um, so I bought the bourbon and got some gas on Thomasville and met my friends at Mosaic. Which gas station did you go to on Thomasville? The one that's, um, I always forget the name, but the one that's close to the cross street, it's right next to the Goodwill. Okay. If you're heading north on Thomasville. <laughs> if you're heading north on Thomasville, it's on your right. Okay. Just past the Goodwill. Just past the Goodwill. It's close to the intersection there. Okay. All right. And then from that point, you went straight to the went to Mosaic. Mosaic restaurant. And I met friends there. I used to have kind of a steady Friday meeting and I hadn't seen my two friends in a while. Um, and so we had made plans to meet up. Lots and lots of detail here. Not even one inclination to maybe could I please go to the hospital right now while he, if he's not expected to live? Can I get my children to come see him in his last you know, hours or minutes? Not even one thought about that. Just a lot of thought about what kind of details she wants to get out there. What, uh, what time did you get to Mosaic? About one. It was a little late. We are supposed to meet up one, and I got there a few minutes after. Okay. All right. I know it's cold in here. Okay. I think that's all I have Okay. I, I know it's part of it, but, but um, do you know anybody that would have a beef against your ex-husband? He's, um, oh, my God. I hate to ask it now, but I have to do it now. You understand, I understand. Right? I understand. Um, he... I mean, he had friends. He was um, he always meant well, but he would sometimes rub people the wrong way. Okay. Um, but not, not anyone would do something like this. Any, anybody that he owes money to? No, he owes money to me. He owes money to you? <laughs> not me. He owes money to me. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Oh, my God, I'm scared of this. I don't know how Well, we're still trying to determine you know, what happened and how it happened. But he wouldn't do this to himself. Right. He was a very positive person. Right. He, he no, no one that you know of or that you spoke to recently that, that he has not a problem with or that he's concerned about? No, no one he was concerned about. I mean, we've been separated for two years, so I don't know. Like, right. you know, if he had something going on, I would know about it. But I mean, I lost my voice earlier this week, and so we had to have this conversation about um, our son's school and where he was going to go. And he, um, I know a lot of people didn't love him, but. Not anyone who would like hate him. He, he met well, everyone that knew him. He knows he knew well, but he's just, he's getting a little like argumentative. Right. But, um, you know, he didn't do anything except work and take care of his kids. He, he wasn't involved in anything bad. Yeah. He kn
and he was he, he's a professor at law school, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you you were divorced in two years or total separation? Total separation in two years. Uh, our divorce was finalized last summer, or this time. Okay. He has he wouldn't do this himself. He has a girlfriend now. Do you know his girlfriend? I met her once in the last couple of weeks. She was visiting. She lives in New York. Okay. Do you know anything about her? I, I know some things about her. Um, she's also a law professor. I know she's recently divorced and she has a son. Um, I don't know if her divorce is final, but I think recently divorced. Um, Where's she a law professor at? At um, NYU. Um, and he seemed very happy and. and I think that was a really good thing in his life. He seemed really happy. If you're replaying, please put in the comments if, if you are for or against me putting the speed up on play playback of this video. If it annoys anyone, I will just do it at normal, at the normal speed. I'm just trying to cut through certain things that that are immaterial. About it. She came down here, she met the boys, and um, I met her, and she told me how great she loved the boys. You know, like it seemed, it seemed fun. Did she ever stay at the house with him? Just that one time. When was that? Um, I remember because I just, I just got back from um, being with my family in South Florida. Um, um, uh, sorry. It's okay. Um, You're doing great. I, so, the date was it. I went with my family. It was my dad's 70th birthday, and we went home for it. So his birthday was the 5th. I left Monday the 30th. So she must have come into town Saturday, the evening of the 28th. What month? June. June. This past June. Just now. So June 28th. Yeah. Um, and then um, and then, I, and then she was there with the boys the 29th. And then I met her on the morning of the 30th when I picked up the kids um, to take them to South Florida. Do you know when she left? Um, I could probably find it. Um, like in the email and stuff, I think she was here for like one more day and then went up to New York because I was with the kids in Miami um, for a, a good long while I was there. I drove back July 10th, so I was there almost two weeks. Um, and so I think he went up the next day. Okay. Do you know her name? I do. It's um, Amy Adler. Oh my gosh. She's... A-D? Um, A-D-L-E-R. And she's a professor of law at yeah. NYU? Yeah. How hard did she drive? I have no idea. She has a car. She lives in New York City. Well, so I mean, she was driving down. I mean, she was. She flew down here. I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Do you have her phone number? I don't. Okay. Um, I don't know how long we were dating. Um, it seemed kind of serious that she got the kids, but I, I don't really know. Um, he's been going up to New York for um, the conferences and stuff since the kid was about um, a few months old. So he's been he's been going up there three and a half years. So I, I my guess was that they might have known each other for a long time, but I've been. I don't, I don't know how long. Well, let me ask something. Does his relationship with her have anything to do with your old divorce? No. No, it had nothing to do with uh, no. an extramarital affair or anything? No, but the only thing I'm thinking is Amy, um, I don't know what Amy's old divorce situation is like, so if you're going to think of someone who's not thrilled with Danny, I don't know how happy her husband or ex-husband is with the situation. Oh, what a good idea. Let's, let's start putting out potential um, people who would hate Danny. Now, I one of the things I didn't say that I noticed earlier is she said her reason for uh, going down Trescott every now and then is to look at the house and to come to terms with the divorce. Now, the divorce has been finalized and she initiated the divorce. Now, I'm not saying personally, um, we don't know what, what her emotions are in that way, but it's been two years since she left. Hi, Anne. Yay. Hey, Antoine. I'm so glad the sound is good. I am speeding it up. Does that bother you? Do you like the speed up? I'm speeding it up during certain parts that are kind of dead space. Let me know if you think it's too fast or if that bothers you. Thanks for being here. Do you know anything about him? I know anything about him. So, you know, Amy Adler, she's a professor at NYU. She was down here from the end of June through the first part of July. I think just a few days. Right, yeah. at Disney. But he'd been seeing her when he goes to New York on these conferences. Yeah, um, well, he's in New York in the summertime. We have a week on, week off schedule with the boys. So whenever I have them for a week, he goes up to New York for a week. So he's been spending a lot of time up there. Did he say, did he relate to you that he'd been seeing her up in New York or that's where they met or anything of that nature? He didn't tell me about it, but... Um, I feel like he was pretty vocal with the girlfriends and people probably since December about her being his girlfriend. So, okay. who would be uh, who would be his best friend? Uh, when we were still together, he had two best friends. Neither of them were in Tallahassee. Okay. Um, oh my God, I'm completely blanking on their last names right now. That's okay. Matt, um, Matt Price, um, that was his best man at our wedding, and Josh Berman, who um, Matt is in DC and Josh is in New York. Um, actually, he has a friend. I don't know if they're so close, but the boys, he and the boys, sleep over at their house a lot. They're in Cairo, Georgia. Okay. That's probably his closest friend here. You know what I'm saying? His name's Alex Greenberg. He's a veterinarian in town, and they've got 
his or Lizzie Nidge is our kids. Is it better? How about, hey, let's call Alex and get somebody over to that hospital that he's fighting for his life at. I don't know. That's kind of what I'd be thinking, but I'm not Wendy. Right now. Mm -hmm. And I think you know where his office is? I, I don't, I, maybe in Cairo. Oh, he didn't have office in Tallahassee. I don't think so. He, he's a vet in Cairo. He's, well, their house is in Cairo. His wife is a dentist. I don't know if her practice is in town or in Cairo either. His wife is Maya. I don't know. Just for somebody who was crying that hysterically, she is able to put out a level of detail that is pretty mind boggling. Suggesting to me, maybe it was rehearsed. I don't know. I don't know anything. Just my opinion.